did a lot of research um, and actually had planned to come two years ago, but then the pandemic kicked off. Mm -hmm. And so I said, okay, I'll wait. Mm -hmm. um, I felt very confident. And then I did my research and my homework and I just felt like um, it just felt right. Even though it's so, you know, unusual for an American to go, you know, do this type of thing abroad, you know, but I just felt very confident in Dr. Kong. Okay. A big reason that I came because I filtered out all the hernia repair mm -hmm. with non, just non, um, non mesh because I did not want plastic, you know, in my body. I didn't want mesh in my body. Okay, good. Uh, if I could help it. You know, I have many, much more of my life to live. So for me, that's the most important thing is with my health, having a surgeon that has the experience. Obviously, I can only, I haven't, I haven't experienced both, but um, what made my decision in part was the incision size was smaller. And I also saw Dr. Kong uh, speak at a conference mm -hmm. and the way he described the specific way that he corrected uh, the, uh, the hernia seemed like it was much less invasive and had a better outcome for the patient. Um, and that was important to me. I first got the hernia in 2017, okay. and it's 2022 now, so wow, it took me five years to do something about it. I was sitting at a desk mm -hmm. for over 20 years, mm -hmm. and I was not exercising like I should, so mm -hmm. I believe that probably I had just developed a, 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 you know, a little bit of a weakness, ah, weakness. in my, in my uh, abdominal wall. Um, mm -hmm or in those muscles. Uh, I was a bit surprised that the anesthesia was an IV drip that made me completely go out. Mm -hmm. I was expecting that it was going to be a, a, some shots mm -hmm. and I didn't realize that I was going to be completely out. Um, it was smooth, so I, I didn't feel drugged or I didn't, I mean, I felt a little bit, gro I felt a little bit groggy, mm. but not like general anesthesia or where, you know, so it's, it, it felt, um, yeah, it, it just was very surprising that how smooth it was. Mm. I mean, basically I was out before it started and I woke up an hour later mm. and it was done. And also, um, the way I feel a day after the surgery, I mean, my surgery was 18 hours ago. It wasn't, it was just yesterday at, you know, in the late in the, you know, afternoon. So, um, I didn't expect to feel, you know, this good and I don't have any painkillers or anything in my system now. It's all worn off. So I was surprised. I don't know how many doctor of uh, these surgeries or, or repairs that Dr. Kong has done, but I'm guessing well over 10,000. Um, but I don't want to speak for him. I don't know how, but it, you know, I, I would say that um, it seems that recently non-mesh repair is starting to pop up in the United States or become more of an interest to people. And I would, I can't speak to any of the other practices, nor the shoulder dice, which I also checked out shoulder dice. But um, I can just say my experience with Dr. Kong, I had a lot of confidence in him. I feel like he's a master. Yeah, so it was very helpful for me to watch him speaking at that presentation. Um, because you get a feel for a person. And 
what I was impressed upon, impressed with when he, when I was here, was his bedside manner or his his attention. So he was very present with me when I sat down with him. He explained the different types of hernias and my hernia. He also reviewed all of the statistics of reoccurrence rates, and he had this all charted. Mm -hmm. Uh, answering you know several questions he must have spent 20 minutes with me mm -hmm. which is very unusual in the United States I mean I don't want to at all discredit any of uh, the American doctors at all because I've had also doctors that cared in the US but I would just say the same thing that I saw when he was presenting mm -hmm. became authentic when I met him in person I haven't met or encountered anyone, but through my reading, um, I know that there were many, many lawsuits, and um, you know I've read where people have had problems. It was through my research on the internet. When I saw him speak, you get a feel for someone, I think, and. Um, I, I, I could just tell that he cared about the outcome of the patients. Um, and I felt very much the same here. Well, I've been very impressed. The hospital is very well organized. Uh, and I feel like you've got high technology here or good technology. Um, I would say that this, the hospital is set up very well with the different kiosks where it says, you know, what you're coming in for and you get a number and it's all organized very well. But of course, it's all in Korean language. So, um, you know, ideally, if you really wanted to have more foreign visitors, perhaps having those kiosks have an English menu. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I would say... Uh, I guess that's that's really it that comes to my mind. Um, I felt that the process was really good. The explanations were very good. The website has a lot of information on it. Um, and I think that these videos are very helpful. Yeah.